Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And the uh, little painting I'm bringing you today is called Golden Cove. It's a three and a half by three and a half little mini. Um, I did this for the uh, sort of tourist market out here in New Zealand, a little quickie one. Um, good one to check out in the members area. It's less than an hour. Um, I, uh, like I said, I did this for the tourist market. I have given it to my friend Joan and, um, uh, she's not doing so good. Uh, she's, um, she's having some health problems. So this video, video is dedicated to you, Joan, and, uh, uh, I hope you pull through. Yeah. God bless you. Anyway, um, it's also barely sped up i mean this is two and a half uh times um faster than i painted it it, it, it this is missing the uh color mixing session and an initial session where i'm sharing the reference and kind of breaking down my thoughts so all that's available for you in the members area with no ads and um the color mixing no ads Oh, 4K. Sorry, I already said color mixing. It's early in the morning here. Yeah, I got a very early start today. Um, oh, also, I want to point out, thanks so much for those of you that have bought the book. The book is out. I am shipping it. I have I have 50, and we sold, I don't know, quite a few, but um, I'm waiting to hit a certain threshold before I reorder. So um, if you're into it, uh, get into it. Yeah. Um, there'll be a link underneath this video, and you're going to see an ad at the, like, I don't know, just a little over the midpoint. So um, please bear with the ads, you know. I just think it's important for people. I've been having people been asking me, oh, where's this information? Where's this information? I'm like, honestly, I know I've discussed it 30 or 40 times in some of the hundreds of videos here, but I couldn't tell you. And, you know, if I had a full-time assistant, um, they would go through every video and make an index of what was discussed in the timeline and and all these things. But it's just it's just it's just a little old mic here, you know. Um, but I am always happy to share my work with you. And if you ever have any questions or anything, just ask me in the comments, or you can scoot over to my website, landscapepainter.co.nz, and there's a contact form there. You can ask me anything. You don't have to be a member. I, I love helping people. And, uh, you know, I just, I think we all should be painting and, and doing something with our time other than sitting around watching uh, Netflix or what have you. Um, so, uh, working on a little board, a little MDF board that I prepped with transparent gesso, uh, which would have just yielded this kind of blah color. So what I did was I rubbed a little bit of like, uh, oh, burn umber, raw umber. Uh, on there with some acrylic uh, paint and a little more transparent gesso and that gives us the surface you see us painting on now which was a great little support um, the the uh, painting itself is based on a pictorialist photo um, I'm actually hoping it's an old one <laughs> but I took a lot of liberties so I feel okay with it mm. um, yeah, and so we picked a theme here, which is yellow, gold, you know. And it's oftentimes something that tonalists would do was like, we'll turn a whole painting gold. That You don't see an impressionist doing that very often, if at all. Um, uh, that's definitely kind of a tonalist trope. And uh, I cover uh, stuff like that in the book. I'm going to be pushing the book because I worked on the book for two years. And uh, I'm just so thrilled it's going out into the world. You know, the internet's great. I love the internet. I love being able to share my work with you on the internet. I, I, I record almost every painting uh, I do, um, and I love to share, and I have been sharing since, ooh, 2014, something like that. Um, but, you know, we know how things go on the internet, you know, it's there one moment and go on the next. Uh, whereas with a physical book, man, if it's printed and it's in a book, yeah, you could have a fire, but it, hopefully there's going to be more than one book in existence. Uh, and, uh, you know, it'll go on. It will um, be. Also, it's, you know, great to have a book on your uh, workbench that you can have open as you're working on your paintings and things. Well, it's a bit more difficult to do that with, like, say, a book that's in a digital format. 
Uh, I haven't found that to be very helpful at all, to be honest. Um, I have a few books uh, that are like Kindle versions of art books, and you, you try and zoom in and you can't, you know. Um, at some point, I'd love to do an integrated website where it was like the book was live, but when you clicked on something, it would play the video of the, you know, when you clicked on a picture, it would start playing the video session. Wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, if any of you feel like volunteering several hundred hours, um, just let me know and we'll do it. <laughs> All right, so uh, now you didn't see me do the pre mix session, but you know, I mixed me some ochres. Um, uh, the ochre uh, uh, was definitely yellow ochre, um, but definitely informed with a bit of cad yellow. And those that's a really awesome combination if you haven't tried it. And speaking of cad yellow, if you haven't worked with cad yellow, a lot of people starting out just see the price of it and they go, oh, I, I don't need that. I don't want to spend 60 bucks for a 32 mil tube. Um, but what you, you're missing out, you don't really know what you're missing. Um, the cad yellow, the cad red, the cad orange. Um, I just sold a few paintings and um, I ordered myself a giant tube of each uh, just because uh, if we go through some other um, uh, C19 type situation again or whatever, I want to have plenty of paint on hand. Yeah, and those are the ones that are not replaceable in any way, shape, or form. They have uh, the cad yellow hue out there. And um, so what is it, you say, Mike? What, what's so special? And this is the kind of thing you, you would hear covered in the members area more because I'm, I'm painting with it, I'm mixing with it, I'm talking about it. Um, I don't know, let's remember to, to get into um, things like that here. But So let's just talk about Cad Yellow because that'd be the one that I would definitely want to have on my palette. I could, I could mix an orange from that if I needed to. And the red... Well, it's super valuable. It has less uses, you know. Um, still would really want to not have it, uh, you know. I, I would really want to have it, no matter what. Um, the the cad yellow has a tremendous amount of opacity and brilliance. So, oh, hey, it's our book. Do you want to paint tonally? Do you want to paint better? Are you tired of trying to find the info you need on this channel? Because there's hundreds of videos here. You can watch for days and never find what you wanted. Until now. Introducing my new book. Landscape Painting the Toneless Way by M. Francis McCarthy. Everything you want to know. In one place. Order your copy today. The link is below the video. It looks like that. It's awesome. Just click the link below or visit my website and uh, you'll there's a be on the website there's gonna be um, I need to I need to put the video there's like a video where you can see I'm kind of leafing through the uh, the book so I'll make sure that's on the website today um, yeah and uh, sorry I, I should have had that done already but you know I'm a one-man band and you know what I got to keep painting no matter what that's the thing that's how you get good but back to cad yellow and cad orange and cad red so cad yellow that one as you progress with your painting journey you'll find that one of the things you'll struggle with as you're trying to create your paintings is the relative transparency or opacity of different pigments and um, that opacity that's in the cad yellow is amazing and so powerful and it really kicks your work up into a higher gear so go buy a tube today I use the Gamblin stuff because I feel Gamblin is really good quality for the price um, there's a lot of pigments I use where I go with the Dale Rowney Georgian um, because it's really good that's good quality um, it's not you know they're full out professional um, but um, I generally that'd be like the earth pigments because you know earth pigments aren't expensive so your raw umber your burn umber your burnt sienna um, yellow ochre um, ivory black it's not an earth pigment but it's burned bones so it ain't far from it um, those those are fine uh, but something like your cats you know you're not even gonna get the cats uh, Generally, you're not going to get the cads in a, um, you'll get a hue. 
And when it, by the way, you may not know this, but when a paint uh, tube says hue, you might not know what that means. What that means, it's an approximation thereof. So when they say CAD yellow hue, what they're doing is they're giving you acrylide yellow, which is in its own right a wonderful color. I use that to make the mic screen absolutely essential. Wouldn't want to be without it. But it doesn't have the opacity, so on the palette, it's not as useful. You can have, use a lot less CAD yellow. Um, and get a lot better result with a lot less paint, you know, and that's important uh, when you need a color to do something, you need it to do something. And, and now, so this one's, uh, yeah, uh, w what colors do we have? We got some, uh, probably a bit of raw umber, maybe a bit of uh, burn umber. Um, we've got the yellow ochre, we've got the cad yellow mixed in, in, in to certain degrees, we've got the probably the buff titanium buff the uh, titanium white um, I'm not seeing a lot of other colors involved although like I said I did this a few weeks back so um, that would all be explicated in the members area uh, clearly yeah um, and you know this is another thing I want to say so in the book I go through my whole my whole approach uh, to color theory and to toneless color theory what colors I use, what I recommend, and why. Um, but even though all of that's in there, uh, my, my strong recommendation to you if you're a painter starting out is start with a minimum palette. Uh, I, I, li I like a palette with, say, Cad Yellow, Alizarin Crimson, Titanium White, Ivory Black, and Thalo Blue. And I, would, might, I might go ahead and have some Thalo Green around as well, but that's optional. Um, and just start trying to mix the colors you're after with that palette. Now, for tonalism, that's not the optimum palette. But for learning to paint, it really is. Because when you're starting out, you don't know how the paint's going to act or mix. You don't know how to mix colors. So the best way to learn how to mix colors is to start with a sort of minimal um, approach. And over time, you'll see what the limitations are. And that's when you start buying additional tubes of paint. Like the first, the first colors I would add to that uh, limited palette would be probably yellow ochre because it's tough to mix with a limited palette. Um, burnt burnt sienna, which is easy to mix, but I use a ton of it. Um, raw umber, that's n you can mix it with the limited palette, but it doesn't act quite the same. It'll be like more opaque uh, and a bit muddier. It won't have that cleanness to it. Um, you know, from there, you know, you can get into other blues, uh, di uh, diox, uh, purple, you know, um, uh, you know, th then of course the cad yellow, the cad orange, the cad red, and so on. Anyway, I can see we're getting close to the end today. This is real time, this little bit here. Thanks for your patience. Uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm sorry to throw an ad for you, for the book at you, but I've had so many requests for so long and I worked so hard on it, so please indulge me there and um, you'll see it in, in videos for quite a while because um, even though there's a video for the book on the channel um, as we recede uh, as that recedes into the past um, I assume less people will see it so until they come back with another video for your edification and enjoyment do me a favor do me a solid take good care of yourself your family all your loved ones stay out of trouble and God bless you and your family <laughs>